Hi everyone. I saw this story on Truth in Action I wanted to share with you. Um, Dave Her Herman, he's a UFC fighter. He was having problems with his car. It was dying out on him. And he had turned his splashers on. And the police put their lights on behind him. They were following him for quite some time. And so he pulled over into a well-lit area. Which probably pissed these cops right off. Because he didn't pull over right away. But he had a child and a wife in the car. And he wasn't going to pull over into a very dark area. And so wondering what the heck that they wanted and why they would be doing that, he gets out of the car and asks them who they are and asks for ID, which is his right. And actually Dave here must be reading up on his rights because it is the law. They have to show ID unless they have good reason to be pulling you over. If they have good reason, they have to have a good reason to ask for your ID. That means they have to be accusing you of something. You have every right by law to know who it is that is accusing you of something. Hello, my name is Madeline Herman. Last night, while traveling south on Interstate 69 through DeKalb County in northern Indiana, my husband Dave and I began experiencing some car troubles. Dave put the hazards on to alert other vehicles of our troubles, and we continued driving. About seven or eight minutes later, we noticed that we were being followed by some police officers. So Dave began looking for the first well-lit area he could find, which didn't happen to be for about three more miles south on Interstate 69. We pulled into a gas station, and Dave, not wanting armed strangers walking up behind the vehicle, especially with our infant son in tow, um, stepped out of the vehicle and asked if there was something he could help them with. Get on your knees, put your hands on your head. I've never met you, I don't know you. Can you please show Turn me around. the ID? Turn around. Can you please show Turn me the ID? Turn around or you get tased. Can you please show Turn me the ID? Turn around or you get tased. Can you please Last show me the ID? Last recording. Who are you? We are the police. They immediately drew their weapons and began shouting at him, telling him to put his hands up and to turn around. He put his hands up and requested that they show him three forms of identification, which is required by law. Turn I around, need to see your ID. You, by turn law, you're, around, by your law, hands on your you're required to show me an ID. This is bull. Get on your knees now. Uh, uh. On your bottom. hands up on the steering wheel. They then came up to the vehicle and saw that I was recording and were more than happy to show me some identification. Anybody else in here? Is there a child in there? Yes. Okay. Hey, um, you don't have a warrant. Huh? You don't have a warrant? I'm going to have you step out. I two would like to see three forms of identification. You are required to show us that. Three forms of identification? Yes. Just keep it. I don't have three forms of ID. All I've got is a, my tag, my badge, and that's it, okay? You don't have a driver's license? It's got my address on it. I'm not going to show it to you, okay? Do you understand? Do you understand that? I Why I'm not going to show you my driver's license? You are so required to. I'm not. You are required to show us three show forms you, of not, identification. Not, not to show you my driver's license. Not, not your driver's license, but three forms of I identification. Don't have we, don't have, we don't carry three forms of I'm in the uniform. That anybody could have a uniform. Okay. They then held my infant son and I hostage in our vehicle in temperatures in the low 30s with the windows down and the door open and would not allow us to close it to stay warm. There are at least cameras here, so if you shoot me, it's on record. 
If you shoot me here, it's gonna be How old is the child? Just, I can't see him. Just, just an infant. A couple months. I can okay. just be dead and it'd be, oh, well, this guy's a dick and we murdered him. Ha uh ha -huh. Too bad he was a black. Right, what's your relation to him? Wife? Girlfriend? Wife? wife? Okay. Ma'am, do you have an ID on you? Yes, I would like to see your ID as you well. You want to see my ID? See the badge right here. Okay, you are okay. still required to show me three forms of identification. You yet? Yeah, um, I don't know if I got the return on that one or not. So after 13, you get a return on that 20. It's okay. It's cold out there. After about 30 minutes, they said that we were free to go, and um, and we could have somebody come pick us up. They have um, not set bail for him or arraigned him. They are refusing to give any information except for through their Twitter account and their Facebook, and um, have been defaming Dave with trumped up charges. They are charging him with um, felony ve vehicle resisting arrest because he wouldn't wouldn't stop in a non well lit video recorded area. Um, they are charging him with battery of an officer, which apparently they charge you with if a taser is used, even if you're not the one using it. Um, and they are charging him with um, endangering a dependent which, again, he was going out of his way to make sure it was the safest circumstances for our son that we were being pulled over. I beg all of my fellow Liberty brothers and sisters to reach out to the DeKalb prosecutor's office and demand that he be released immediately, that the officers who assaulted him be charged, and that the people responsible for defaming his name be held accountable. You can reach them at area code 260-925-1646. And if anybody in the area is um, knows of or is practicing law and is liberty-minded, um, we would appreciate any counsel that you might have to offer. You can reach me at MadelineMHerman at gmail.com. I will, um, there will be a link in the, a link below. Thank you very much and I apologize for my, for cameramanship. So if you ever wonder what are your rights, you should read up on them just to know. Thanks for watching.